Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and in today's video, I'm going to show you the simplest way how to install how to create gun switch. It doesn't matter whether you are a beginner or not. In today's video, I'm going to break everything down step by step for you. So all you have to do is to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification icon so you can be notified whenever I drop a new video just like this. So let's get started. So before we start, so without wasting much of our time, let's begin. And also please remember that electricity is very dangerous. Please always turn off your breaker before you do anything in an electric. So let's start. So for you to easily understand this, I'm going to use a diagram to demonstrate how to do the connections. So when you look at the back of every trigger switch, you will find something like this. You will see something like this. See like this. Here you see common or L. Here you see L1 and L2. You see like this again because it's three gang. You see something like this. This one like this. This one like this. Here common or L. Here you see L1 and L2. Also, like this because it's three gun switch, so it's going to be a thread. See something like this and like this. Here is a common or L. Here you find L1 and L2. So now, this is this is how every telegram switch look like. This is it. When you look at the upside, you see common terminal or L. Then downside, you see L1 and L2. This common, common is where your input will enter. So you will take positive terminal from your breaker to this common terminal. Then from this first common, you loop wire like this. You loop wire like this from this one to this one. Then you from this one also loop to this one. Then this L1 is where your output will connect. Then your bulb will connect to this L1. This L1 here. Your second bulb will connect to this L2 here. And your third bulb will connect to this last L1. So this is the pure connection of Peregrine switch. You take power from your breaker to common terminal. From this common, from this first common, you loop to second common. From this second common, you loop to third common. Then from this L1, you connect your bulb, your three bulb. You connect your first bulb to this first L1. This first, this second L1, you connect your second bulb. This third L1, you connect your third bulb. Then your neutral will connect direct to the breaker. So this is the pure connection of a trigger switch. It's very simple. Your, your positive terminal, you take your positive terminal from your breaker to the first common terminal. Then from this first common, you loop your wire like this. From this one to the second common. Then from the second common, you loop from this second to this third. Then you connect your bulb to L1 of the first, then the second bulb to L1 of the second, and your third bulb to the L1 of the third terminal. So this is the simple, this is the, the this is just how the trigger switch is being connected. No matter how the, the switch looks like, no matter how big and gigantic it looks like, this is how to connect it. So now when you look at this switch carefully you will see that this upside is the common terminal then on the down side you find l1 and l2 this is the second one you see the common terminal at the up then the down side you see l1 and l2 this third gang you see the common terminal at the up you see l1 and l2 at the bottom so now if you want to connect this switch now what you will do is you take your positive from your breaker to this first common here 
you connect it to this first common then from this first common you loop wire like this from this first one to this second one like this you loop it like this from this first common to this second one then from this second one you loop to third one you understand then when you loop it like this now then your bulb now you connect your bulb to this l1 here you connect your first bulb to this first l1 then your second bulb you connect it to second l1 then your third bulb will connect to second to the third l1 and your switch will work perfect this is the simple connection of it it's very hard it's not hard it's very easy if you look at your switch you see either you see l or you see common l and common means the same thing common is where your input input supply will enter you understand and the l1 and l2 is your output where you connect your load so now let's go ahead and connect and do this connection now and test so that you so that you will see how everything works so let's do the connection now so so what i'll do is that i'll take positive supply from my breaker to the common terminal of this first one so this is my wire take your screwdriver and connect your wire with the breaker you connect it like this then i will cut it because the wire is too long then this one we enter the first common so you lose it then you cut the one that you used to loop from this first common to the second common just look how i'm going to do it see it this one now will loop from this first common to the second common and then this one now will loop from the second one to third so let's do that so you join it like this join it like this and put it put it like this way Make sure you tight it with a short tight connection. So you connect it this way now. So now, this one now, we enter the second common. But before you connect it, you join the one that you will connect to the third common. So now, let me join it. So you can see how I join it. So you lose the second common. You put your wire like this. You tight it. Tight it this way. Then this one now will be the one that will enter our the last common. So let's lose it so you lose it like this and you put it in the third comma so this is it now our input connection is complete so let's go ahead and connect our output which is the bulb so now this positive wire from our bulb we enter the l1 of the first gang so you can see here you can see l1 here 
you lose it. You pull your positive from the bottom to the L1. Put it like this and you tight. So when you connect the first ball, finish, you pick your second ball. So now this second ball, the positive will enter the second the second L1. The L1 of the second. So you lose it like this, you can see. This is the second. Put it in L1. Put this like this. Then you pick your, your third bulb. The, the positive wire from your third bulb will enter the L1 of the third gang. So you lose it like this. Put your wire and your tight. can see it we are done connecting so let's go ahead now and connect our neutral you can see this black wire is the neutral so we will connect our neutral to, to our breaker we join the wire there we join all the three wire join the three wire like this okay Then I'll join this one. So this one now will be the one to enter the breaker. I'll join the all of them like this. So when you join finish, make sure you join it well. When you join finish, you use your insulation tape to wrap them out. So you use your tape like this. So join it. Then this one will be the one to enter your breaker in the neutral side. So you lose your breaker and put your so now we are done with the connections. So let's go ahead and test our work. This is our three bulb. So let's turn on our breaker. You can see this one. Then the second gang. We have this one. The third one. We have this one. You on the first one, you on, you on the second one, you on the third one. So this is this this is the simplest and beginner friendly on how to do this. It's very simple. 